Greetings, another tutorial by IT Interface. Today we're going to go over Notepad++, guys. Um, I won't be able to go over everything. Um, too many options. Not enough time. But a basic description of how this developed. Uh, it was a, an abandoned project that a C++ and Java developer had stumbled across and removed its component specifications to leave it as a generic source editor. What it is, it's full of GUIs. And if you've noticed my channel, I'm keen on GUIs in the beginning of most of my videos. Um, what this is, is basic description of what I'm talking about is in the pioneering days of computers and PCs, you had to type in a command to do things. And via GUIs, which is shortcuts, like right here to open up my Windows Media Player. I, I just opened this up through a command line, through a command, and GUIs give you the ability to open it up through a shortcut. Um, basic description of what a GUI is. It's part of uh, an environment, so that's just a basic description. With that being said, Notepad, in comparison to Notepad++, eight lines. I know that because I just counted them. Notepad++, I can see them. Notepad, you cannot. Um, that's just a basic difference between these two right off the bat. You can also check lines. If you're writing in HTML or PHP, any type of large source file, this is a great option. If you're a writer, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, another great option is uh, right here keeps track of your most recent files um, you can reload from disk if you've saved it to a disk um, you can save sessions load sessions you can have multiple sessions open it gives you many tabs at once um, another great feature to find look how many options you have you can find in files um, you can do marked and unmarked you can here you go find notepad and replace with the word hardware or whatever code or whatever whatever you want to do it's right here find text look at this I can right there found it and I can scroll back over and look at all the rest of them I can mark them where they've highlighted so it's a great feature it helps writers of any language um, replace them all they're all replaced or excuse me replace all there we go they're all replaced and notice how I am clicking off of this window and back to my application, my source page. Look at that. I'm back over here to confirm that they've been switched, replaced. And I can also, when I was at the end, I had to find, you know, look, I, you have to do, you have to address this in most applications. Not all of Microsoft Vista has come about with this, app, with this feature as well. You'll be familiar that, with that if you right click and if you're in control panel if you go into a certain field and open up a certain window you cannot click off of it unless you address this window this is a great feature that's why I went over it so intensively if you're a writer you understand what I'm talking about another thing language you can do it in many different languages C++ CMake CSS HTML um, Perl if you're familiar with Linux PHPs you can have it user defined right here your own whatever you want whatever font whatever size and so forth size you, you usually have to go up here with multiple clicks to change the size of the font with hotkeys you can change them yourself I mean it's GUIs on this particular application are unbelievable in my opinion I like this source editor um, look here you can start recording macros you can run macros multiple times run feature in HTML you can run your source in your browsers without being connected to the internet right here just to see what it looks like here's one I've done for you and uh, he continues to develop this project here's a log of his changes he's you know fixed inaccuracies replaced a bug you know so forth this is a great source editor in my opinion guys you need to download it um, get familiar with it, play with it, 
see if you like it. It may help. Have a good day.